it's about 40 hours of hand saws and chisels and files and rasps and sandpaper and, and you know, the blood, sweat and tears, mostly blood. <laughs> At Valid Cycles, we make uh, custom bamboo bicycles. So frames start at $1,200, and then we can do a complete for about $3,000. Even though I, I, you know, I might sound a little bit biased because I built a lot of them, but we kind of look at it as functional art. The bamboo bikes, I can throw it, crash it, drop it. It's strong stuff. Still good which is really cool, considering it's something that grows all over the place. And there are some species that have a higher specific strength than steel, meaning pound for pound, per its unit of mass, it is stronger. It kind of just takes out that fear of handling your frame like an eggshell. And like with most wood products, you can refinish it, sand and re-clear coat, and it looks great again. We chose iron bamboo or tanvong. It's a really thick wall bamboo. And so we've, we've got a guy that goes over to, to Vietnam and he imports it into Portland. And then we get to go pick through the cream of the crop. And even out of those, then we probably use half. But it's nice because the rest of what we don't use goes into the compost pile. You know, it's not something that's going to go into a landfill like aluminum or steel. It has just a little bit of a slight curve to it when you look at it from the side, and I like that. But I want it to be straight looking down this direction. Having your head tube in line with your seat tube and having those be at the correct angles, all of that is done by having a good jig. All the points where all the tubes come together are the lugs, and all of those are made out of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is just string and glue. It's the same principle as like a rebar inside of concrete. You have a reinforcing material inside of a matrix that holds it in place. Some things you have to pay attention to is the skin of bamboo has a very high silica content and so stuff doesn't really stick to it. It doesn't get a very good chemical bond. So you need to kind of take the skin off and get down to kind of the meat. We actually cut into it about a millimeter deep or so and we make sure that it's not uniform in any direction so that when we lay that carbon fiber in there we compress it down in there it sinks down into all those little grooves and really holds it tight. Bamboo's big enemy that we have is moisture. And one of the things that we do is put it in the oven for about 150 degrees, and then you crank it up to 250, and then 300. Yeah, you can do it in a kitchen oven. That was the first way we started doing it. It's a full week worth of work to do it. And we're incredibly anal. I mean, we'll scour that one little nick until it's perfect. Let's face it, we all want it to look cool. <laughs> Pandas, yeah. Look out if you take your bike to the zoo.